you up to speed on that rather alarming story. We've got an update from Rota where our Tomas Mangulan is giving you an update on a search for three on boat heading to that island from the 671. Tomas, what do you know? Yes, Jason, we broke the news last night on KUAM Digital on the ongoing search for three people on a boat, a cargo boat we believe to be heading from Guam to Rota as part of its daily operations. The search is, has been ongoing through the night and now we're uh, joined with Ike Mendiola, who's the Special Assistant for Homeland Security, Military and Veterans Affairs, uh, representing the mayor's office in this effort. And so, Ike, what can you tell us so far? What do we know right now about this incident? Well, uh, Tom uh, Hafaday, and uh, welcome back to the island, your island, uh, Luta. Uh, it's an ongoing unfortunate situation. Uh, we're dealing with um, uh, the vessel uh, on distress right now as we speak. It involves a 42 foot or fiberglass double deck um, vessel. Um, it, it's originally intended to uh, depart, actually departed Guam yesterday, bringing in uh, local commodities to our local stores. To Rhoda is supposed uh, to arrive in Rhoda, expected time between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. last night. Unfortunately, it is still out there somewhere in the ocean. Hopefully, they're okay to all the three uh, souls on board. Um, the Rhoda local Department of Public Safety Police uh, Boating Safety Unit uh, received a call from the United States uh, uh, Coast Guard uh, Guam sector about se roughly approximately 7.30 p.m. last night, uh, informing them that uh, there's a vessel uh, on distress on Channel 16. So it has been an ongoing search uh, with the Guam sector, United States Coast Guard by vessel and also by air since last night uh, and even as we speak right now. Uh, so far, there's no development yet as far as visual contact or whatever. Uh, to update uh, the, the community members in the region also. So let's just cross our fingers and hopefully that the crew are okay. And then eventually uh, we come to a good result. And uh, we were here last night when the local authorities here at the West Marina, uh, by the way, where local authorities were gathering. Uh, we know the Guam Fire Department, DPS Rota, U.S. Navy helicopter, um, and the Coast Guard is uh, really uh, doing their grid search. But you, you said the advantage we have now, obviously, is daylight and visibility. So uh, that's supposed to help with the search, right? Exactly. Uh, one thing about visibility wise, uh, the search uh, started initiated from uh, nighttime, 7.30 p.m. last night. And the, our good friends in the United States Coast Guard Guam sector has been doing an uh, outstanding job so far. Uh, we're still waiting for good news from um, our side on the ground. So uh, I've been working for the municipality for the mayor of uh, Rhoda. Um, she is the principal uh, disaster coordinator, working together with our local assets, Department of Public Safety, Building Safety Union, the Department of Fire and Emergency Medical Personnel on the ground in Rhoda and also in coordination with the state, which is seen in my Homeland Security, uh, just in case uh, the mayor declares that, uh, de declares rather that an outside uh, uh, asset uh, needs to be mobilized. And uh, we believe right now the uh, area of interest is the southwest area for Rota? Exactly, uh, the, the general area is between uh, Guam, and the Rota channel between Guam and Rota, but uh, based on previous experience, uh, it's the Coast Guard Guam sector that's going to determine whether they need to extend the uh, grid search. All right. Thank you so much again, Ike Mandiola with the Mayor's Office, the Special Assistant for Homeland Security, Military and Veterans Affairs. Thank you so much, sir, for the update. I know uh, lots of thoughts and prayers and uh, understandably worry here.